there, all of you wonderful members of the Cobalt Banker Distinctive Properties family. I hope that your year is going well and that you are getting some education and enlightenment out of these daily sessions. Today I'm just bringing to mind the new licensee buyout addendum that came into effect on February 19th. Originally, Dora had discontinued this, this new addendum but then on the 19th of February, after meeting and having several uh, discussions, they've reinstated it. The word is reinstated it <laughs> with some small changes. My advice to you, if you are looking to buy for your own account, that you go into CTME, read first, and then fill out the addendum. It's presented to the seller at the same time as a contract to buy. And it's referenced in the contract under attachments. You won't even notice the changes. They're mostly changes such as shalls to wills and adding electronically delivered notices. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I don't have any uh, huge changes there. Just read it. If you have any questions, give me a call at 970-846-8814. I had an instance last week where an agent, one of our agents was buying for his own account and he had some questions and so that's why I'm discussing this right now. Don't forget if you are buying to put right in the contract that you are a licensed realtor in the state of Colorado or, or Idaho or wherever you're from, wherever your license hangs and you are buying for your own account. The only other thing I wanted to bring up to my Colorado brokers anyway is that the new laws for having your CREC classes, it, it even is confusing to me. My license now, after renewing it last year, expires in 20. I'm only required to take that cl class two years in the next three years. I've already taken it last year, but... I'm going to tell you my best practice to you is that you take it every year. The CREC class, or whatever they're going to call it this time, has a lot of information in it regarding contracts, regarding law, regarding ethics. It's just a good thing. I mean, you can spare four hours in person. I prefer in person because of the questions you get to ask on a local level um, from your various markets. If you have to take it online, fine, but I would really like to have you take it in person. That's the CREC update. Take it every year. It's good for you. It's like an aspirin a day or an apple. The other thing is your code of ethics. Now, that is a required class. It comes from NAR, and also it'll fulfill your local board, or it should fulfill it, that you take your local code of ethics class every two years. They get pretty gnarly if you don't take this, so don't don't put it off. Take your code of ethics class every two years. Again, it's good for you. It makes you feel good and makes you scowl at that person that's been just irritating the heck out of you, knowing now that they're violating the code of ethics. I, that's all I've got for you today. Pretty short and sweet. Have a wonderful rest of your week and enjoy all of the snow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.